We just moved to the Thailand and I have a few days to create workspace in this messy room. I will create YouTube videos, live stream and of course build my indie apps here. Currently it's messy, but should look better in a few days. We are building two desk office. One desk will be for me, obviously, another one for my wife. So for desks we decided to go to IKEA and I just picked relatively cheap desks which are wide enough and deep enough to be comfortable for work. What I don't like is that these shallow desks because on those you don't have a place for hands, uh, for keyboard, basically for anything. Deeper is better, you can just do not use that all the depth if you don't need it, but if it is not deep enough there is nothing to fix after that. Sure we needed chairs as well. For chairs I decided to go to popular Thailand online shop named Lazada. That's like, I don't know, AliExpress but in Thailand. And I found chairs which looks exactly like one chair in IKEA. I bought the chair from IKEA for about 200 euros. Here in Lazada there were something like 20 euros. Of course, I didn't expect good quality from those chairs, but I hope that they will last for at least, I don't know, a few months. We'll see. I just didn't want to spend a lot of money upfront because I needed to buy plenty of stuff, pay for rent, pay security deposit. Basically, that's a lot of expenses. But I can see that I can basically flex that metal frame and bend that metal frame with bare hands. So the chair will not survive for a long under my 90 plus kilograms. We shipped a few monitors and PC from Latvia. So my daughter's PC was just fine. Monitor was destroyed in transportation. So I needed to order a new monitor for her. Uh, I chose it again Samsung M7 but just newer version because she was happy with this monitor. It has built-in TV, smart TV functionality. Basically you can use it as a monitor for PC or like small TV. Luckily delivery guys didn't destroy my Apple Studio display that is still in one piece and I can keep using it. But I needed one more monitor for streaming. My OLED monitor that I had in Latvia I sold. I don't have it anymore. I need another one for streaming and I bought 27 inch LG Ultra Gear gaming monitor which is just fine, do the work. My gaming PC case was too big to put it in any box so I didn't ship it and I basically sold the case and I took all the parts with me in suitcases. So here in Thailand I had to buy a new case and put the parts in it and basically get it working again. I didn't do that by myself, I just uh, jumped into the taxi, took all parts with me and moved to the IT mall. There is huge IT mall in Bangkok with a lot of different camera, light, PC, what else not, phone, accessory shops and so on. I chose one of the shops, the box, uh, because I read online that it is good one. So I went into that shop, asked if they have case which they can sell to me and can they put my parts inside this case for me. They said yes, no problem, just no guarantee for parts, which is of course obvious because they didn't sell the parts. I just spent about two hours in Starbucks working, then got call from them came back and was happy to see that my PC still working. So I have my gaming PC actually ready to go. I can turn it on, but I don't have monitor for it because when I built all the monitors here on the desk, I actually didn't like that setup. It was way too distractive. Check this out. I just recreated basically the setup that I had back in rig office. So I have PC, which is that vertical monitor is PC monitor. Then I have my Apple Studio display, which is for programming and mine work and 16 inch MacBook Pro right here. Just if I need second screen for Mac and if I want to have Touch ID, which is useful and trackpad, which is handy as well. Kind of looks cool, but it feels too busy already. <laughs> I would like to f be more focused and that is a little bit too much on desk and a little bit too much distraction. So this PC is going somewhere to that corner next to that plant and I will need definitely will need longer cables to connect everything. And currently I will turn the vertical man monitor down as well because I'm not streaming this week. This week that's, that will be distraction. I don't need it around here. 
it can wait until I will get those longer cables to connect everything. So yeah, let's try to go back to simple version of our set. So the current state is still work in progress. I just got delivered my monitor arm. I am planning to build like vertical stack of the monitors. I hope this arm will work. I need one more monitor because that one that I bought is already in use by my wife. So yeah, setup is not finished yet, but basically this is state in which I will be for a while. And uh, I decided to record this progress video. So I'm not using PC for streaming now. I'm using Ecamm Live and streaming from my Mac, which kind of works, but still, it's a little bit annoying because I'm missing one more monitor. It's kind of okay when I'm just streaming, but if I'm doing co-working streams when I'm working while stream is going and we can chat time to time with you guys in breaks on Kick, yeah, follow me there. Uh, for those cases, I really missing. PC for streaming and one more monitor to have stream basically going in the background because I need my MacBook with for Slack. If I don't have Slack open it somewhere, I'm just missing all the messages. I don't know. That's that's just how my brain works. Out of the sight, out of the mind. <laughs> Check this out. It lasted even less long than I expected. It's <laughs> it's broken already. Just a, just a few weeks later. So. I already ordered a new chair. We are still waiting for that secondary monitor. I think that's end of the video. See you on next one. Bye.